Schedule 1 Research Protocol, an investigation of psychedelic plants and compounds for activity in serotonin receptor assays, for headache treatment, and prophylaxis. Yo, what's up? It's someone that's no one, and welcome back to today's report. Today's report is coming from Ethan B. Russo, MD, where he has a kind of case report of the plant Psychotria viridis. And here's the full report details. All right, welcome to a report on the plant Psychotria viridis. This might be your first time hearing of this plant, but to keep it simple, it's a DNC containing plant native to Ecuador. Most commonly, you'll hear this being a part of an ayahuasca brew, which we brought up a few times now. Thing is, ayahuasca is a brew, at least having a DNC containing plant like this one and then an MAOI. For example, Banisteriopsis capi, which we covered by itself now, which did show to have some possible light effects. So naturally, I wanted to do the same for Psychotria viridis, and just see whether or not it has activity by itself. And I'll be honest, finding information on the sole use of this one is extremely limited, and I was only able to pull it from this one study. This is a research report coming out of Peru, coming from the MAPS organization, which a big shout out to them and the research they do. This channel has had fundraisers for them before. But so with that, it isn't subjective, but it details how tribes will use it otherwise. Which this is a first I believe, but they would squeeze the juice of the plants in their eyes, looking to treat migraine headaches. Which looking at the activity and how treating migraines can go, this could potentially be effective. Crazy sounding I know, but you'll get some more insight with this report. I didn't include every paragraph in detail, but it is most of it. So with that, I'm sure you'll enjoy this, make sure to sub and like, and without further ado, let's dive right into it. With partial support from MAPS, a group of researchers is pursuing the study of plants and substances with reported psychedelic properties for activity in serotonin receptor assays that may indicate therapeutic utility in acute or prophylactic treatment of migraine headache syndromes. Plant Analgesics For thousands of years, medicine and plants were synonymous. The first analgesics, willowbark and opium poppy, yielded pharmaceutical derivatives we now recognize as aspirin and morphine. In the 1930s, research on Clavisix purpurea, the fungus of rigraine, by Sandoz Laboratories, led to the development of ergot alkaloids, the first truly effective pharmaceuticals for the treatment of migraine headache. This research led as well to an unexpected byproduct, Albert Hoffman's prawn child, with surgic acid diethylamide, a psychedelic with profound implications for neurochemical investigation. As a practitioner of allopathic medicine and neurologist, the principal investigator has continued a long-standing personal interest in herbal medicine and ethnobotany, and feels that additional mysteries in the treatment of neurochemical disorders may be solved through a renewal of investigation of nature's chemist, the plants. Embarking on new research. In 1990, recognizing the continued need for symptomatic and preventative drugs for treating migraine, this research group embarked on a survey of available ethnobotanical information from around the world with reference to headache treatment. Very quickly, it became apparent that the area of greatest plant biodiversity, the Northwest Amazon, was also the site of the most numerous ethnobotanical treatments for headache. Also in that year, publications outlining the neurochemical basis of migraine treatment and serotonin receptor pharmacology suggested the plausibility of enjoying these laboratory techniques as an in virtual method of screening plant extracts for possible development as new therapeutic medicinals. In 1992, an article was published by the principal investigator in Journal of Ethnopharmacology, outlining these theories, and how they might be applied to 24 plants used for headache treatment by indigenous peoples of the Ecuadorian Amazon. A field study of these plants with collection and subsequent laboratory analysis was proposed. Subsequently, two University of Montana research grants totaling $5,000 in awards, were assigned to these investigations. 
In 1994, Drs. Russell and Medora travel briefly to the Amazon. But plans to do preliminary plant collection in Peru were not approved by that government. Plant Collection in Peru In 1995, in association with Glenn Shepard, a doctoral degree candidate in anthropology at the University of California, Berkeley, the principal investigator accomplished this goal in two months of ethnobotanical field study of the Michi Genga people of the village of Yamui Bato, in the midst of the remote Parque Nacional del Mans, in southeastern Peru, Madre de Most Department. During this sojourn, an excess of 400 medicinal plant species were collected for botanical identification. Of these, fully 25% had indications suggesting neuropharmacological activity, including migraine. Of approximately 25 species on a wish list for plants employed for headache, all but two were identified in man's. But in addition, many novel specimens were collected. These were preserved in ethanol, and in some cases, live specimens were exported in accordance with Peruvian and U.S. statutes, and have survived the difficult outward journey to be cultivated in Montana. We believe that there are several species new to science, and preliminary investigation through NAPA alert searches confirms that very few have undergone any biochemical analysis. Further details of this work are available on the net. Plants of the Michiganga Initial studies to date, undertaken by Drs. Keith Parker and Russell Medora of University of Montana Department of Pharmacy and Dr. Chuck Thompson of the Department of Chemistry, have revealed very encouraging results in demonstrating the activity of several plant extracts on serotonin receptor activity. Approximately 10 Michiganga samples are Iban Kikis, Cyprus species infested congenitally with Balenzia fungus that have demonstrated the presence in prior study of novel ergot alkaloid structures. These hold obvious promise for additional study in migraine treatment and the search for other psychoactive agents. It is of interest that numerous plants used ethnobotanically for headache are psychedelic at higher doses. Migraine Medications as late as 1915, Sir William Osler, an acknowledged father of modern medicine, touted cannabis as the most effective treatment available for migraine. The same is to be true of synthetic medications for migraine. After all, sumatriptan, imatrex, is merely dimethyltryptamine, DMT, with a methane sulfamonide in the 5 position. Similarly, if the methoxy group on methasergide, sansur, is changed to ethyl, one has produced lysergic acid diethylamide, LSD. In fact, methasergide and ergonovine, prescription medication for migraine, are themselves psychedelic at high doses. The Michi Genga tribe employs intraocular administration of fresh psychotria leaf juice as a treatment for migraine. It is apparently quite effective and free from bothersome effects. Another species, Psychotria viridis, is well known as a DMT donor in the ayahuasca admixture employed by many Amazonian tribes as a preparation for psychedelic divination. As an estimate, the Michiganga utilize 15 to 20 psychotria species for one psychoactive purpose or another. There is good potential for discovery of novel tryptamine analogs with clinical application from these plants. The Michiganga employ or have employed several plants beyond these with reported psychedelic activity that have not been previously reported, let alone characterized pharmacologically. We have ethanol samples of these, and a few are in cultivation in an Amazonian jungle in exile. Hopes for human studies. Although the grant money today will allow preliminary work to commence, hopefully during the 1996-97 academic year, carrying the project to its desired endpoint will likely incur costs many orders of greater magnitude. The researchers are dedicated to the ethnobotanical and better search for better clinical pharmaceuticals for migraine, depression, and treatment of pain. Listing of drugs as Schedule 1 presupposes that they have no clinical utility and has roadblocked necessary research until 1990 when the FDA began approving human studies with psychedelics. The lingering controversy over such research has effectively cut off this project from any likelihood of public funding. 
The difference will need to be raised from interested private sources.